Monique Rodriguez. And for those who do not know who I am, I'm the CEO of Myel Organics. I started Myel Organics in 2014, and actually our four-year anniversary is May 23rd. So whoop whoop, four years in the business. <laughs> And I started the company um, just out of my love for beauty and hair. I've always been very passionate about um, just hair and just beauty. Like I was always that kid that can look at someone and just admire them for their hair. Um, so that's something that I've always been into. Um, but I never knew that my passion for just the beauty space was something that I can actually turn into an actual career. Um, because, you know, I didn't come from a family of entrepreneurs. So entrepreneurship was something that was so foreign to me. You know, when you don't see that growing up and you're not exposed to that, you don't have that, um, the, the mindset to say, well, I'm just gonna be a business owner when I grow up. like to ask a question about the myth of um, not shampooing, right? I'm not too sure about that one, right? Um, but I mean, you understand as, as people are sharing certain things with you, that starting off at a, a clean palette is one of the most important things you can do, right? Because um, a lot of us like using co-washing and conditioning shampoos. Right, so you have to understand what co-washing and conditioning shampoos are doing. They're designed to kind of coat, to put a coating on the hair, right? To, to coat the hair, to kind of seal the cuticle. That's what it's designed to do, to leave something behind, which is great. Um, but before you do that, from time to time, you should cleanse and start the hair off all over again. So that is definitely a myth that cleansing and deep cleansing is very important. You know, and the reason we tend to shy away from deep cleansing is because we don't like the way the hair feel afterwards, but it's actually clean. You know, it's almost like with makeup, you take your makeup off and you do just use an extrinsic, you're trying to take everything out of your pores to start the process all over again. Well, it's the same thing with hair, you know, so you actually want to kind of remove everything off the hair shaft. And it's, that's a good sign when it actually has that kind of feel to it, that little rough feel, that means that it's clean. Then you come back and add the conditioning products to it. I want to give people an opportunity to tell us specifically what their hair needs, and we'll whip it up. We'll whip it up in our kitchen. So we created this questionnaire for you all. If you guys, can, if you need a pen, I have pens here. Um, just answer the questions and we'll come around. And um, we have our custom formulas here. We have treatments for your hair and scalp. And we'll try to answer all of your questions as best as we can. 